When you're not emotionally attached, you don't blindly follow. Right. Um, and the first time I really saw things that opened my eyes was the first Gulf War and George Bush saying, this is the new world order and we will win. And I remember my best friend and I talking about this going, you know what the new world order is, right? Have you, you've looked into what the new, does anyone have a clue what this man is talking about right now? And then, you know, we invaded Iraq because he was, whatever the monster they sold us on, there's always a new monster. Yeah. Um, and then I saw CNN 24 7 watching you bomb, kill, destroy. In a reality show. Let's just watch us blow up another And then, I, I, then I, I, it hit me. I went, wow, this is the beginning of overload brainwashing. Because then you had the screen, and then you had the bottom of the screen. So if you weren't watching that, you watch it. And then you had to, oh, and now they're doing the experts. And then they started spawning off all these other news channels, all chirping the same thing with just this one's a little prettier. That one sells it a little better. And th that was when I realized, wow, the power, the power of brainwashing. And then I, I looked at how far back it went. And so that's always I've always felt that and, and feel like I've known that. And then um, when COVID, when COVID hit, um, and those things certain people don't see and they don't talk about it. Mm -hmm. Or if you do it, oh, you're a nut or you smoke, you must smoke marijuana, whatever, whatever excuse they come to dismiss it. COVID knocked on my door and infiltrated my home. And, you know, I can, I can say, well, I should have stepped up for this and this and this and this. But COVID was the first time where my kids, my neighbors, my family, and it was almost like they came up with a genius way to separate everyone because that's exactly what they did. Yeah. The kids in college believed, oh, Dad, you're not, a, you're not, you don't understand. Like, people, I had to sit my daughter and go, it, it started with my agent, my agent manager. And they were telling me, you know, this is getting serious. I went, you, you, <laughs> I, Aerosmith is on tour. Uh, uh, Metallica is on tour. I just did 100 cities. I did thousands of meet and greets, checked into so many hotels, touched the doorknobs, pressed the buttons, went to <laughs> Vegas, touched the money. Forgot to wash my hair. Did everything. <laughs> right. Cabs, Ubers, dinner. Nobody died. Right. Nobody died. Now all of a sudden people are dropping life eyes and last month. And I asked my I asked my kid, I said, name me someone you know that has passed in our neighborhood. No, there, but we I don't want to hear you know someone that you know of someone. Right, right. I want to hear Fred. Fred got it, or Bill got it, or Tom is not going to make it. And I also had an instance where a dear friend of mine, uh, Rob from New Jersey, he got it, got submitted in the hospital, mm -hmm. and that was the end. They were going to pull the plug on him, uh, and then someone came in last second and said he's dehydrated, you're giving him the wrong things, got him up, but he's still, he's still brain damaged. He's completely damaged. So it wasn't COVID that did it. Yeah. It was what the protocol was at that time. And so, you know, I had friends that worked at hospital said, you know, we're getting paid. We're getting kickbacks. To yeah, it was COVID. And that is, that is the most demonic, yeah. evil, human thing you can ever do. So I, I lost... Uh, I lost complete trust in the in the medical industry. Uh, the entire, I already never trusted the news. I will never, ever, ever. Well, I watch them to know what their agenda is. Because mm -hmm. you got to know the devil to fight the devil. I almost feel like it's at the point I've said this before, that when I watch the news, I, 
I pretty much just say opposite day. I, I think I'm not going to say I'm totally accurate by just going whatever they're saying is well, the opposite, but I know I'm more accurate. I'm closer to the truth by just say exact opposite of what you just said. Well, it's uh, the magician. Than listening to it. It's know? the great. It's the great magic act. Her, keep your eye on the. Yeah. Uh, keep doing all this up. Roll out monkey pox. <laughs> right. Roll out Kamala Harris real quick. Right. Say, she's going to uh, no taxes on, uh, on, on tips. <laughs> Didn't Trump say that? Yeah, but they buy anything we say. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's like, hey, yeah. here we go. Well, speaking of that, you're using terms like brainwash. I call it hypnosis based on, you know. That too. Uh, Matthias Desmond. And I don't know if you're aware of the, 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 the work that he did looking at this, but. As a comedian, do you, there are things that snap, snap people out of being brainwashed. Like if you've got it, somehow you got to get thrown to them emotionally. Is that what, I mean, I do think that that's comedy. Ha, does it have that ability to snap oh, yeah. someone out of, out of a trance? I, possibly. Uh, that's my, that was my mission. Yeah. Like when I, when I'm, when I did that, the, the concert we're referring to is called Somebody Had to Say It. And that was the whole, it was COVID, it was gender, it was what they're teaching in colleges as a man uh, in his 50s, paying. And I put out everything at that time. Um, I was hoping you see the, re- I, I, I hoping that I was portraying the ridiculousness yeah. of what I'm watching. I'm watching the mayor of New York eating McDonald's French fries. Right. Probably the, the most Free. unhealthy, right. disturbing food, if it is food, going, mm, mm. You mean I get free French fries if I stick this needle in me? <laughs> the, who's, who's not watching this going, Oh, you know what? Maybe something's weird going on. <laughs> How do you not? I know. It's amazing. It really but is. But it still exists. Yeah, it does. It's like, I'm not saying I'm Trump or whoever. How do you watch Biden half the time and go, oh, yeah, there's nothing wrong. Oh, you, you know, and, it took, and then the day it took, all deba- it took a debate. <laughs> no, it took no. a debate for him sounding like Ozzy. It took that for yes. for anyone blindly following going, oh, yeah, maybe something's wrong. Are you are you kidding yeah. me? But yes, it's powerful. It's extremely powerful. I have a lot of hope. Light always outshines the dark. Dark is going to fight ferociously because that's its nature. Uh, but the old saying, you can walk in a pitch black room, you just light a match, yep. and half that room is lit up. One little match in front of all that darkness. So I think the dark warlords, which I'm sorry, that's what I call them, uh, all of the mass media, all of it, print, Hollywood, all of it. Um, this, is, this is what I say to Before COVID and before, before Trump was president, not many people questioned Hollywood or news. You trusted everything they said. Mm-hmm. No, everyone trusted all pharmacies, all doctors, everything. That pendulum in just seven years being, those roots were so deep planted yeah. for so long. Education, education, uh, all of it is now flopping not just in america across the whole world yeah which is why you see you did the segment the english like if we caught you saying we're gonna come to you no you're not stupid (laughs) no you're not stupid right no you're not um it's all (laughs) no one's taking it seriously anymore and they that that they're losing Mm-hmm. They're lo- it's it's like they're trying to stomp out eight billion fires. Yeah, oh exactly. my god! It's like stop this, stop this podcaster. Bing, another one pops yeah. up. Stop this program. Bing, another one. Ah, ah! 
We're losing all control, sire. Yeah. Send out monkey pox. Do something. <laughs> Send out Kamala Harris. Do something. <laughs> Send the Dude. thunder. I have lots of hope. Good. Uh, and I truly believe incredible things are on the way. You have to. Yeah. You can't allow that other energy. Right. That's, then it won. Then it wins. Correct. You're in fear. It's all it needs. And when so. you're facing it, stand up to it. Yeah. For crying out loud, stand up to it. Yeah. Question it and stand up to it. Otherwise, get out of the way and let the fearless one stand up to it. You're on tour? Right yes. Uh, podcast, so, The Brew Universe. The Brew Universe podcast, where I'm imagining you do some of this, you know, story. There it is, youtube.com slash at Jim Brewer. And, uh, and where's a good tour. place to figure out where to Jim see Jim Don't go. If you're looking for tickets, so many people yeah. do this. Okay. Hey, your tickets are $400. Right. No, they're not. You're on a third site, you banana. <laughs> Jimbrewer.com. Jim Brewer. We get the tickets there. Yeah, Jim the Brewer. links are there. I'm not going to send you to a third party. Okay. Yeah. You're, you're, you're courageous. And the show's not fearless. like this, by the way. Yeah. It's a totally different beast on stage.